coming out here. Can you hear me in the back? Excellent. Fantastic. First of all, I want to say I've been a life member of Gun Owners, Gun Owners of America for over 25 years. And I think that you should also. They do wonderful work, become a life member, and join the pro-gun groups. They're the ones out there fighting for us. I'm not going to take up a lot of time. I don't want to echo too much of what about, uh, Larry, or, uh, Larry talked about. But one thing I do want to do is I posted this question uh, on, my, on my Facebook page, Facebook, whatever you want to call it. But I've also put it to liberal politicians who want to pass gun laws. And it's a great question to put to somebody who wants to pass gun laws. You look them square in the eye and you ask them, what gun law do you believe that could be passed that a criminal or a maniac would obey? And if you can think of one, why haven't you passed it so far? And it just stumps them. It absolutely stumps them. Somebody who's bent on committing mass homicide is going to do it no matter what. Timothy McVeigh used fertilizer and diesel. Box cutters are used on 9-11. They're going to get it somewhere. However, as we all look around here, we're all talking to the choir. I got homework for you, all right? And I got proof that it works, all right? What I want you to do is I want you to leave here, and I want you to go get somebody who is eh about shooting a gun or who doesn't like shooting guns. Bring them to the range. Don't hand them a 12 gauge, hand them a 22. Get somebody. As we look around in this tent right now, how much bigger would it be if everybody here brought one of their friends who wanted to learn about the Second Amendment and learn about firearms? There'd be twice as many people, or three times as many people. It comes down to numbers, people, and the media and the liberals are winning right now. There's a state legislator in Connecticut that said, oh, we don't need to have AR-15s that can fire 700 rounds a minute. Even with a 30 round mag, how many mag changes is that to fire 700 rounds and you got to do it in a minute? I don't think so. But there are people out there going, oh yeah, no one needs that, so we should ban them. That's the problem. Education. My proof is that it took me two years to do this. For local folks, this is the Valley Advocate. Hardly a bastion of conservative thought by a long shot. It took me two years of badgering to get them to send a reporter to take my pistol class. Now, this is not self-promotion. What this is talking about is get somebody out there who doesn't know much about guns and take them to the range. Educate them. Most of us do happen to have AR-15s, and no one's been killed here yet, by the way. Uh, when you go there, start them off with a 22, but bring your AR with them. Encourage them to shoot it. The only way that we can win is with more numbers. We have the facts on our side. That's been proven over and over again. We've got that on our side. But people need the experience. The reporter that took my class didn't like guns. Never would have taken the class unless his editor said, yeah, go take it. But you know what? I opened his eyes. And I've opened a lot of people's eyes. I've talked to people that have not liked guns that have taken the class that are now licensed concealed carry holders in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. You can do that too. Go out there and talk to people. Educate. Don't try to impress them you know, with something really big. Again, start off small, do a 22, do one shot out of a 22, get them working it, get them understanding it, show them safety, trigger control, muzzle control, all of that. Teach them all the things that we take for granted. We've been doing it for so fucking long, but it's new to them. Teach them all the things that we go through. Teach them what it takes to get a license in Massachusetts. Teach them that in Massachusetts, if you shoot someone in self-defense, you could be the one going to jail. Because you could be. We all know that. Jury, I got friends that are lawyers. Juries in Massachusetts look very down upon someone using a firearm for self-defense. If someone breaks into your house, and there's a legitimate means for you to empty the building, even though we don't have to, because we have castle doctrine here, believe it or not, if you don't flee your house and then abandon it to the criminal, but instead you shoot the criminal, 
you are more than likely going to be found guilty of something and spending time in jail. That's Massachusetts. And people need to know this, that we are not Rambos out there. When we go out there and we carry, sometimes that can make us a target. Especially if we choose to open carry, because hardly anybody does. You could be open carrying at Walmart, looking at baseball gloves for your niece or your nephew or your son or your daughter. And somebody in there, some, some wet pant liberal in there, sees that, calls the cops, there's a man with a gun at the mall! I've talked to the cops. How do they have to respond? They've got to respond in a SWAT fashion. So suddenly you turn the aisle and you're facing about four M16s pointed at you for exercising a constitutional right, and a God-given right, by the way, that is legal in Massachusetts. We have got all kinds of hoops to jump through that even the legislators don't know about. So I go back to get a friend, bring them to the range, teach them safety, have them shoot in a safe, controlled environment and let them experience what it's like to target shoot. This reporter that did that piece, he was petrified of the AR-15. All he knew was what he learned in the media. It's a death machine. It can fire 800 rounds a minute. That's all he knew. And he was the last one to shoot it. I had this little itty bitty woman in the class who was taking it for, for personal protection purposes to get the LTC. And she was shooting that thing all the time. And he was petrified to shoot it. I finally cajoled him and eased him into it, being very polite and very respectful to him. Finally eased him into shooting it. And he shot the first round and he turned to me and his jaw fell open. And he said, this changes everything. I said, well, I knew what he meant, but I said, well, what do you, what do you mean? He said, this is kind of fun. And I said, hell yeah, you got a lot more rounds in there if you want. And then he shot and he said, it, it's, this is something that can be controlled like a car. I said, yeah, it can be. And it finally dawned on him at that point, you see the light bulb going on in the liberal's head, there's not a room for it to go on and shine in there, there's nothing else up there. But it finally goes on, and it dawns on him that it's not the gun. It's the person behind the gun. That clicked. And that's what we need to do as responsible gun owners is bring other people out to the range. Increase our numbers. Bring friends out there. Let that light bulb go off in their head. It's not the gun that goes and un gets itself out of the case, gets out of the safe, goes and finds the ammo, loads its own mag, gets, itself, gets in the car and goes to shoot somebody. It's the friggin' operator. But the media does not tell them that. Somebody blows up a building. The person did it. Somebody stabs somebody. The person did it. Someone runs over someone with a car. The person did it. Somebody shoots somebody. Oh, the gun is evil. What the hell? Really? But that's what they're being told on a daily basis. Go out there, educate. It comes down to numbers, people. That's why these morons keep getting elected, is it comes down to numbers. It's our job to go out there and educate people. And the thing we gotta keep in mind also is that I, as a licensed concealed carry holder, represent every one of you that's here and every other person in Massachusetts, every other person in this country. And so do you. We gotta be good about what we do, we gotta be just upfront about what we do, and we have to share the enjoyment that we get out of doing this get the numbers. When we get the numbers, we get these morons out of office. Educate. Focus on safety. Safety, 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 safety. Then start them off slow, low calibers, and then bring out the AR later on and let them shoot it. And let them experience it for themselves instead of relying on Katie Couric. Alright? That's what we need to do. I'm going to try to get the schedule up a little bit. I'm not going to use my whole 15 minutes. But that is a homework assignment. Go find somebody and go educate them and go teach them what we are all about. We're not a bunch of goons. We're the person behind them in the shopping line. We're the person that goes to the PTA meeting with them to talk about the kids and the education they're getting. We are just like they are, only we choose to protect ourselves and not rely on someone else to do it for us. With that, God bless. Go educate. That's your homework. Go do it.